What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star broke the internet. Now this is not typically a topic that I would talk about on my channel. Um, I, okay, let's start from the beginning. So, uh, around the beginning of October, YouTube on the front page recommended me Shane Dawson's newest video, which was the beginning of his latest series with Jeffree Star. And this is not typically the content that I would watch. If you guys, um, obviously, if you look at my channel, this is all Call of Duty video game related. If you watch my streams, you know, I play Overwatch and Pokemon and every, you know, all sorts of gaming content. The types of videos that I watch on YouTube are usually a bit more lecture style, usually um, different talks and things like that. So whether it's the content that I make or watch, the Shane Shane Dawson's latest series is not something that you know I, is is something that I would normally watch. But I ended up clicking on it, and the content that I was watching was incredibly high quality and weirdly entertaining. And I only say that because again the the whole the content of the series has a lot to do with makeup and i am a guy who has literally never put any sort of makeup on my face sometimes i moisturize like there's no there i have no affiliation with that uh, part of youtube right like I, I i couldn't be more foreign to me and here i was really enjoying this this video and that was interesting to me i was like wait a minute like what what's going on here like this is interesting so i think at that point i i think maybe it was like a day before the second episode came out or something like that so i watched the second episode and i was immediately hooked and so i went back to shane's channel and i found that he had a previous series with jeffree star and if you guys don't know who Jeffree Star is, if you're one of the few people, or again, like my viewers, this is like probably totally out of your realm of, you know, things that are even on your radar. But um, he's a YouTuber and he is a, he makes makeup. He has his own makeup uh, cosmetics company amongst other things. Like he does a million different things, right? But he's primarily known for being the owner of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and also being a YouTuber and influencer and posting on Instagram and, and uh, Snapchat and whatever. So Shane and Jeffree made a series, I think about, I don't know, six to 12 months ago. I don't remember the first series. I don't remember when that came out because I missed it. Again, it, it's not something that normally I would watch. So I went back and I watched that entire series in like i don't know i think i watched half of it in one night and then the the rest of it the next day or something like that and i just couldn't believe how how into it i was like i was like this i don't care about makeup but for some reason this content is incredibly entertaining to me and there's a couple of different reasons why um i think one it's because i don't know anything about makeup so it was kind of interesting to just get like a peek into that world and i think that's kind of that was like the point of these se the both series but also the business aspect is really what kind of hooked me i went to school for business administration i went to school for marketing so i'm very fascinated by e-commerce and by just by marketing in general new media um social media marketing things like that and and youtube of course i'm big into youtube so this series took all of that combined it with makeup which is something that i never i don't know anything about so anything that they talked about i was it was new to me it was i was learning and on top of that the way that the series was filmed and edited uh was super interesting because the the personality of shane dawson is uh is in such stark contrast to jeffree star they're so in many ways they're opposites right i mean shane is very you know passive and nervous and anxious and um you know funny and awkward and like everyone can kind of relate to him because we've all been there right and jeffrey in these series is very like um you know uh, uh i also say he's like he's outspoken and edgy and he's very like real and raw and like um a very strong presence right like he's very he's he's usually the dominating presence in any room that he's in so those are very contrasting things but for some reason there's a there's a chemistry there that you know when those two personalities kind of clash it's very interesting to watch that dynamic kind of unfold in a business scenario so the series itself is 
amazing because it does what hasn't been done before and that is take a peek and take a look uh, behind the scenes of the business of creating makeup and kind of exposing that to the world um, which is not something that I guess we've ever seen before I mean I wouldn't really know because if it's been if it's out there I haven't seen it because I don't watch makeup videos but it seems to me like this is a first for that community which is a, a huge right and it was done in a really professional way but also in a way that still felt like it was a YouTube content and not some sort of mainstream media documentary about you know the world of makeup you know what I mean so it was just the series itself absolutely incredible but what's fascinating to me and, and this, this is kind of the point of the video that I'm making now is how the entire point of both series was was kind of it wasn't profit driven obviously the the point of the series like shane has been doing youtube forever he's very creative he loves creating content and that's the point right but if we look at the first series that they did together it served kind of two purposes one it was great content for shane obviously two it was kind of a way for us to peek into jeffree star's life and kind of kind of humanize him in a way because at that point in time i guess he was going through a lot of drama and people well, he was getting a lot of backlash and things like that and on top of that so not only did did jeffree star get the um you know he was kind of put in a light that made him appear to be a good guy which i guess in the past is not something that really uh, he's used to but also on top of that it was clear that from the beginning jeffrey probably had the idea of collaborating with shane for a um for some sort of product or palette or merchandise or whatever um because he's he runs a very successful um, business and he's obviously business oriented business minded so the whole point of the first series was kind of just to you know um paint jeffrey in a very humanizing relatable light and also to get um to build that relationship between the two so that way ultimately jeffrey could get shane as like a client basically or as a customer or, or somebody that he can collaborate with and make uh, a product and that's what led us to the second series and the interesting thing is while we're watching this content which i've already said was very entertaining in itself on its own it was also tied into a product like it's kind of like a big commercial i mean each episode was what an hour long or more and it was all leading up to the release of a product that everyone watching the series could then purchase and this is an amazing like i i'm at a loss for at a loss for words for how genius and how flawlessly executed this entire thing was because the it worked right it worked so well that every single episode shane and jeffrey were trending on twitter they were trending on youtube and each episode got 10 plus 20 plus million views almost immediately and super super successful right and these are hour-long videos these are not 10 minute videos like they got 20 million views for an hour-long video which is insane right absolutely insane so here we're seeing a YouTube created series not only be entertaining but also promoting a product and what happens when that ha when when those two things mix and it's done right and it's done correctly not only did the product that they were selling the makeup the palette and all the associated accessories not only did that sell out in like I don't know three four hours something insane like super fast right um millions of units of product like millions two two three million units of product globally right sold out in in mere hours right breaking records shutting down shopify like shopify itself the the platform that jeffrey uses for his website it, that went down basically um i mean at least his website went down for sure but other shopify stores were experiencing slower um load times because the 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 stress on their systems was just incredible it's just insurmountable they couldn't even comprehend it right like they knew what what was happening and they still couldn't prepare for it which just goes to show like this broke the internet like this this just broke everything right and that's why i'm making this video this series is a prime example of the power that youtube has 
that they're not using and i'm getting angry just talking about this because now that i think about it it's actually getting me frustrated because we see shane dawson who's been one of the original og youtubers since the beginning he has he's gone through endless transformations endless controversies endless you know he's been here since day one right and we have jeffree star who's also not new to the internet he was i think one of the biggest if not the biggest um myspace celebrities back in the day he made he had his own music career like he is from the internet he is internet born and raised right so we have these two organic content creators fr stemming from youtube and they make this incredible series two series super entertaining super well done just incredibly creative and it, it just the way that they were able to blend um, makeup and business like dude it, amazing right and they were able to to reach people that would never watch that type of content my th that's why i'm making this video i would never watch a makeup video ever right ever who i don't care about that right and i um, i could say maybe i do now maybe i do slightly now right because of this so they were able to reach audiences far and wide that just have nothing to do with this and actually entertain them so we have these these youtubers these content creators who make such an incredible series and <clears throat> they've proven that when you do it right you can literally break the internet you can make tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars um in mere hours right and of course it was a year leading up to so it's not like it just happened but you know blood sweat and tears went into this i'm sure and lots of upfront costs and whatever but what we're seeing is that the the raw power of of an organically grassroots grown audience and fan base is unstoppable like it is absolutely unstoppable and what's crazy about all of that right is that youtube as a platform has spent the last five plus years making it harder and harder and harder for organic youtubers to grow and thrive on the, on the platform I mean, every single time there's an apocalypse, every single time that YouTube floods the trending page with late night shows and, you know, big business, big media corporations, whatever, they're shooting their creators in the foot because they're giving the spotlight to content that is not nearly as well done or as effective as content that is being created by people like Shane and Jeffrey. If YouTube would have would just play the long game, right? If they would just play the long game and invest their time and effort into people like Shane and other YouTubers who are equally as driven and uncontroversial. Well, he's kind of controversial, but he's relatively family friendly in terms of like his content, right? Like, yeah, he curses sometimes maybe, but you know, it's, it's relatively family friendly content to an extent youtube could be pumping out creators like shane who have the power to sell tens of millions of dollars worth of products and yet they put the late night show on trending and it has ten thousand views like my mind is blown my mind is blown and so we see shopify get completely shattered right we see records break literally records breaking like shane and Jeffrey broke records with this with this launch right in terms of Shopify sales in terms of how quickly they sold out of how many units like record breaking right and of course this series granted you know all being fair to YouTube this was on trending right this was trending but we're not seeing Shane Dawson and Jeffrey on Ellen right we're not seeing them on mainstream media why because this is what's killing mainstream media these organic grassroots youtubers are showing and proving that what they can create is not only more interesting but it's more engaging and more profitable than what mainstream media is doing and that's why you're not seeing this on the news you're not seeing this anywhere else other than new media you're seeing it on youtube and twitter and that's it um mainstream media is not talking about it even though it's it broke records right it was a huge deal and they're not talking about it so this is a lesson to be learned right youtube should be paying attention youtube i'm i i'm hoping that they paid attention to this entire series because it just goes to show that if you actually you know 
give the time and effort to your creators who are actually producing genuinely good high quality content it's going to be way better for the platform than constantly pushing late night shows and family guy clips and stupid mainstream garbage to the front page people don't care about that if people wanted that they would just go back to tv but you know what's happening tv's dying television is dying and people are are watching instead content from people like Shane who are actual youtubers who built their fan base on YouTube right people would rather watch a relatable normal guy on YouTube or on Twitch or whatever than watch mainstream media content and YouTube is squandering this opportunity by selling the front page to big business which is just mind-blowing because again this was the prime example of what can happen when a youtuber actually uh you know is given the limelight right he was put on trending right at pretty pretty much for every single video at this point and the result is that he got insane engagement insane click-through rate he got insane reach to people like me who would never watch a makeup related uh, video and he probably got insane retention time because these were hour-long videos and the result of that again and i know i'm repeating myself but the result of that is products sell products sell advertisers they need to be paying attention as well okay every time there's an adpocalypse i think in my head wow these big businesses are so stupid because they think that just because a coca-cola ad appears on the side of a left for dead video that people are going to associate call of duty with blood and violence like no that's not how humans work that's not how we work right youtube has the power to sell insane amounts of products through ad rev through ads and through you know paid promotions and things like that for or actual youtubers or organic youtubers and advertisers need to be paying attention right you have to be paying attention if you're a big business and you're spending ad money on youtube next time there's some minor current controversy don't immediately hit the stop button on all of your ads like it, it's like it's insane to me that you know this series comes out at this time at, at this specific moment in history right not 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 like this is some global you know event or whatever that we're gonna remember for decades but i'm just saying like this this is evidence to show that youtube is not doing the right thing in terms of like literal business like like in terms of making money and promoting the types of content that they should be promoting this is what they should be doing right they should be focusing on this type of content and they're not we've seen that for the last five years we've seen youtube just take a dump on their creators over and over and over again forever and advertisers are not doing the right thing either right we're talking about selling like <laughs> it's so funny we're talking about selling millions of products right we're talking about making tens and hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue or profit whatever you want to call it it doesn't matter i don't know how the numbers break down but you get the point easily easily tens of millions that's the point of ad of ads right the point of ads is to get people to buy your product so we've seen we're seeing it done successfully on youtube and then anytime that anything goes wrong on youtube advertisers pull out it's like guys if youtube just promotes the proper content and advertisers have a, a pair right like grow a pair and realize that the vocal minority isn't going to cause your business to collapse this is what youtube is about that's this is what it's about this is what youtube is about organic content that sells insane amounts of products when it's done right why are we killing this youtube why are you killing your creators off like holy shit dude and then advertisers don't want to advertise on this content are you kidding me are you serious like it's it's so funny because it it's so backwards the way that youtube is being run the way that advertisers treat youtube it's all backwards everything is backwards everyone's doing it wrong it's like it's so obvious and this this series is like it's it's it should embarrass youtube and it should embarrass advertisers because it's like oh my god wait a minute like these people like shane and jeffrey who have tens of millions of loyal followers like oh we were taking ads off of their videos because we were afraid that they didn't that it wasn't family friendly and then here they go and just make their own product and sell tens of millions of dollars worth of profits and it's like bitch you fucking you're an idiot oh my god dude it's just frustrating because i've been saying this for years like and and finally this series validates everything i've been saying forever 
And it's not just me. Literally, everybody on YouTube has been saying this. Everyone who's a YouTuber has been like, hey, wait. Um, why are we killing the platform? Like, stop killing the platform? Stop killing... Why are you promoting mainstream media? Wait, hang on. Why are you doing that? What's going on? And this series just proves that it's been correct the whole time. I don't know. I know this video was a bit rambly, but I just had to make this video because the series was so fascinating to me and so well done. Um, and it was just shocking to me that I was so into it because it just it was like it's not the type of content I would watch. And then to see the numbers of how much like breaking Shopify, like what, dude? Uh, Shopify is like a publicly traded company. Like this is not some small little website building soft like it's a huge deal like this is a huge deal um and i just had to talk about it because it ties in so well with what i've been saying about youtube forever you know i, I have a video that's been getting some traction lately about the end of youtube and um you know it's just it's insane so anyway guys thank you so much for watching comment down below telling me what you think about this entire uh scenario make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're new around here click that bell so you get notified the next time i upload a video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch we'll talk to you guys again soon peace